through the night, the exceptional downpour took its toll across a wide area. Flash flooding hit the Cornwall fishing port of Newlyn. There was little even the professionals could do to limit its damage. Uh, there's cars being pulled through that have been left there for the last three or four hours. They're, they're trying to be pulled through now because they're completely under the of water. There's people being piggybacked across by the Coast Guard to get across the bridge. Um, so, yeah, the, it's, it's, it's a big road that comes down and the whole thing is just a river now. There's, there's no sign of the road anymore. The storm moved east and gathered strength. Hundreds of homes were evacuated. In the village of Millbrook, locals battled to shore up their properties. Roads in Bobby Tracy in Devon became no-go areas. Exeter remains at risk, its swollen river dangerously high. This pub is closed for business. We were totally flooded in the middle of the week and we managed to, uh, to, to dry out and sort out totally and open again. But this one overnight has been worse. We had staff on duty all night watching and the, the water is just pouring in. One man, a professional sportsman, decided that the raging waters of the River X provided a good opportunity for some kayaking practice. Sam Anderson insisted that he wasn't acting irresponsibly. And if you get like people really experienced that do that, that um, don't know what they're doing, and obviously it can be dangerous. Um, I, I'm actually in the British team myself, and I do this, you know, every day almost. So uh, it's just like doing what I usually do. The rain has eased in the southwest, but tomorrow may bring more misery. David Crabtree, Sky News, Exeter. Well, this is the kind of damage being done to homes in Worcestershire. This house was caught in a flash flood overnight. It was uh, one of about 30 homes in the Worcestershire village of Kempsey, which had to be evacuated after heavy rain led to flooding. Its owner told us about the moment he discovered the damage. I was upstairs, we were all asleep, tremendous rapping on the door. And uh, I came down, opened the door, and I couldn't believe it. Opened it, there was the water. And we'd had the chairman of the council here coming in at 10.30 last night. He said everything seems to be all right, and the water was going off down off the lawn. And uh, we'd got up our, some of our own defences, and that was too late. And we've had these pictures in from the HD Skycopter over the market town of Malmesbury in Wiltshire, where there's been up to three feet of water in some places as the River Avon has flooded over. Four people had to be rescued by firefighters from their homes in Malmesbury. A lot of people saying they have never seen flooding this bad. Roads in and out of the town are impassable, and as you can see, widespread flooding over a wide area there. Well, let's speak to our reporter in Malmesbury, Gamal Van Bulle. What's the latest there, Gamal? Well, the last major flooding here in Malmesbury is back in 2007. When you do speak to members of this community, they are saying to me that they have seen nothing like this. Now, this is a town that is no stranger. Um, to uh, flooding but if we can move into the house here we can see the end result of two inches of rain falling uh, overnight now I mean you can see how high the water levels have got in this uh, house here in this town I mean it is just right over uh, my knee to my uh, thigh area now according to the Environments Agency, 40 homes were seriously flooded. They are expecting uh, more people to call through, but of course they are dealing with the difficult situation that they are facing. But one of those homeowners who uh, has said that she's happy to speak to us is uh, Jenny Whitby here. I mean, Jenny, this isn't the first time that Malmesbury has been flooded, but 
I mean, are you surprised by what you've seen over the last 24 hours? Well, we couldn't believe it. It just came from nowhere. We went to bed last night at half past 11. The river, although it had been raining all day, the river was not as high as it has been in the past. At one o'clock in the morning, the river was checked again, and it still wasn't high. And then at 10 to 2, we had somebody banging on our door. When we came down here, we already had water in both this room and the other room, and it just rose so fast. In the end, there was nothing we could do. We just got the things out that we wanted to, and we then went to help other people because we couldn't salvage anything then. I mean, have you even contemplated um, the clean-up operation yet? I am contemplating the clean-up operation. I don't even know where to begin. I, it's just, you just look at it. First of all, obviously, you've got to get the water out, and then I just don't know where to start cleaning it up. Everything is ruined. The kitchen's ruined. All here, my other room is completely ruined. We've been told weeks and weeks to dry everything out. Um, I just, I don't even know where to start. Now, clearly, I mean, at the front door, there is a defence system that yeah. has been put in place to prevent the flood water mm -hmm. from coming through. But given how quickly the water uh, came through, given that you had two inches of rain overnight, I mean, that was simply ineffective. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. The water actually seemed to come up through the floor. Um, normally, it comes from over the road from the park, but this time it came up the garden and up through the floor and just rose literally as we were standing there. We could see it rising around us. Jenny Money, thanks for your time. Well, as I said, the Environment Agency have, have told me that 40 homes have been affected. They do expect more people uh, to call through, but there is uh, more bad news expected with more rain uh, expected to fall overnight. And just for a footnote for you, the RAC are also urging motorists to be careful when they do travel through, uh, through flooded water. They are saying if people don't know how deep that flood water is, simply don't drive through it. Kamal, thank you. Kamal Fambule there, giving us the picture in one home that's been affected by the flooding. Well, let's get the picture from across the country with Rhiannon Mills at the News Wall. Rhiannon. Well, you can see from those awful pictures in Malmesbury that a very wet weekend continues across the UK. According to the latest information that we've got, there are currently 498 places across England, Wales and Scotland that should be prepared for potential flooding. If we break down the levels of severity, there is one severe flood warning in place. That means there's a danger to life in place at Helston in Cornwall. 223 flood warnings are now in force overall, meaning that flooding is likely and you can see they are spread right across the whole of England and Wales. There are also a further 273 flood alerts as well. That basically means that flooding is possible. And in Scotland, you have two flood alerts now in place. They're in the Scottish borders and the Edinburgh and Lothian regions. The agencies out there say they are doing what they can at the moment to keep people safe. The ground is so saturated, the rivers are so swollen that there literally is nowhere for the water to go. So it really is a case of making sure that all our flood schemes are working properly. We've got teams out and about making sure that happens. It's about giving good flood warnings to all the communities so that they can take action where necessary. And it's making sure that right across the, uh, the West Country, people are flood aware, they're flood alert, they're respecting the flood waters, they're not putting themselves into danger, they're not driving through flood waters and they're ready to take action when necessary. But already there are people out there facing that awful clean-up. Across the UK, more than 400 homes have been flooded. Although, according to the Department for Environment, they say that more than 20,000 homes have been protected by new flood defences. In Cornwall alone, the local fire service has taken more than 350 calls from the public since yesterday. And it's hardly surprising, really, that the transport out there has also been disrupted. You can see down here we've had a landslip. Uh, that's running between Exeter and St David's and Yeovil Junction. That means that trains have stopped and that's not expected to reopen until tomorrow. On the roads, the RAC say that their patrol vans have dealt with over a thousand more breakdowns yesterday than previous Saturday. And the AA have also had almost 300 call outs since just midnight for cars that have been stuck in floods or cars that have problems after being driven through the water. Janet. Rhiannon, thank you very much for that. Well, you can get all the latest updates on the flood warnings and any travel disruption, as well as tweets from our correspondents, available online at skynews.com.